If you've ever been curious about what it's like to give birth from start to finish, come with me as I deliver my fifth child. So my contractions really started to pick up steam after my husband left with the three kids to take him to martial arts class and I was left home with a toddler while in labor. But once they got home, I hopped on the ball to get things moving. After that, I showered and got ready for bed and started a load of laundry because if I was going into labor, I knew I needed to stay on top of the laundry so I didn't come home to a bunch of dirty clothes. Then I went to bed, but around 2 a.m. I couldn't take any more contractions were like five minutes apart at that point. So I had to call my mom to come over to watch the kids so we can go off to the hospital. It was around here that I really regretted not being at the hospital sooner to get an epidural. My water hadn't broke yet and I know that provides cushion during this contraction so it was only going to get worse. I figured the parking garage wasn't very far from the hospital and the walk wouldn't be too bad. I was wrong. It was under construction as well. So we ended up on floor four. Logically, my husband wanted to take the elevator but I did not want to get stuck a chance of giving birth in an elevator so we took the stairs and I walked down four flights of stairs in labor. At our hospital, you have to check into triage first while they get a room ready for you. It's there they start to prep you for birth. I changed my hospital gown and that's when things just really took a turn. It was so bad. I got to eight centimeters and that's when I was like, give me that epidural. I couldn't 